Hi guys, I'm Alex. Welcome to my shave. Uh, had a little technical difficulty before I started. I was talking for about six, seven minutes and my microphone was off. So I kind of redid that. I'm redoing it because you couldn't hear me. So here we go. We're going to start all over again. A little stuff I've already did, but we're going to redo it again. So here we go. Today we're going to be using the Parasso, Parasso White. This is uh, the uh, sensitive skin <laughs> uh, soap. Comes like that in a tub. Never had the tub before, but I've this. I've got the red one. I've got the green one. Now we're trying this white one. To see if there's a difference in the tube to the tub. We're using the pre-shave, which I've already put on. And now we also are going to be using the aftershave, which is actually called a uh, aftershave balm, more like a lotion than uh, a liquid. And we're going to be using that. That's all part of the white package there with the sensitive skin. But I'm going to be using a little bit of aqua velva for a little splash to give me a little aroma. Then we're going to be using the Nivea for our after post shave and now the, the razor blade is going to be the uh well, like i said this just a few minutes ago i'll be using the uh, rockwell 2c this one is the one with the two plates you just flip it over it goes one degree then you flip it over it goes a little more aggressive this has a one and a three plate in it so you just flip the plate over and it gets a little more aggressive we are using it on the number three today that's the one I've been normally using. It's a very nice razor. It's a Rockwell. I'll put that in the description down below. Okay, and the razor blade that's in there is the Gillette Wilkinson sword from India. Very important to get the one from India. The one from China, they say it's not as good. I've never tried those, but this is what all the people recommend. This one. You gotta take care. There we go. Okay, I've already got the pre-shave on. I'm wetting my this is my little Simpsons number one Trafalgar uh, brush. Very small. I've already got the leather going from the previous shave that I messed up. But here we go. Instant lather. Okay, here we go. Let's try it one more time. Oh, it's all wet now. Hang on, I got too much water in there. Isn't that something? Why not? Okay, here we go. Looks a little bit on the light side, but I'm sure it'll be fine. I might put a little bit more in later on the second round. Well, there we go. Looks like the microphone's on now. How oh, crazy. You think of everything, but you don't think of everything. Apparently not, Alex. Yeah, it's a little wet. I've got to put a little more soap in it. So we'll be doing that the next round. Okay. But we could still take some hair off with this one. Here we go. Down we go with the green. The Wilkinson blade is doing a good job. Very smooth. Seems to be taking it off very nicely. Okay, let's do the bottom part here. Okay, got stuff all over me. Oh, 
Oh well, I guess nothing is perfect. You always gotta make mistakes. But the Parasol products are excellent. They're made in Italy. No matter which one you choose, they're all good. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit more soap in this round because it is a little light. We're gonna have to just put just a little bit more at the bottom of our bowl. I'm gonna mash it in there a little bit. Okay, that's mashed up. Get our brush, put a little, we're gonna put a little uh, wet brush in there. And give that a spin, a little bit to the right, a little bit to the left. And it's foaming up pretty darn good. Look how fast that is. This is a much better group here. Much better. Okay. Let's go cross grain. I'm making a mess. With my nice t-shirt. Okay, we're good there. Let's go cross grain. Okay, let's cut across. Here we go. Okay, hoping I cut myself. I've been uh, trying to get my Western room together. And I talked to my buddy Steve in Texas because he's a Texan. And I told him I, when I told you guys on the video that I was doing the Western room. And he says, hey, why don't you send me a picture of your Western room? And I did. And I said, hey, why don't you send me a picture of your Western room? And it about blew my mind away. I thought he had like a little small Western room. <laughs> this guy's like a John Wayne, man. He is the man. He has got a hello Western room. And he's got like a little escape room, he calls, where he does all his little reading and writing and stuff. And he just, it's a small little cabin. He, he built it himself next to his house or attached to his house. Amazing job, Stephen. That was amazing what you did in that little cabin. I love that. You got that big retro room. Don't get me wrong. That's absolutely fabulous. That's a million dollar deal. This little cabin. I love that cabin. That's beautiful. It's everything is right there. Everything you want to do, you just escape there. And you call it his escape. That's true. I can see where you're coming from. Great job, Stephen. <sighs> what a job. I was impressed. All I said was, wow. Okay, that's number two. We're going for three. And then we're out. We're going against the green now. Uphill. As I like to call it. North face, south face. Okay, feels good. A little alum on my fingers. 
put a little warm water on the blade. And now, guess what? We're going to... I can hear that blade cutting. Absolutely fabulous. Here we go. Almost done. <laughs> That's great. I love it. Okay, guys. I shall be right back. Okay, guys. We're back. All rinsed off. Ready to dry off. And put on some of that aftershave. Weather here in Northern California, near San Francisco, is about 80, I'd say 80, 45 degrees. Yesterday was like 80, so it's getting a little hotter, but it's very nice. Better than 100, because it was 100 a few days ago. But boy, can you tell the difference. Okay, got that done. Now we're going to put our aftershave on. Aftershave. That would be this guy. This is like a, a lotion. A creamy lotion. Okay. I'm going to put that on. This is all for sensitive skin. So far, I don't see a difference from the tube to the tub. It seems the same. So I don't see that much of a difference from the, in the soap, from uh, the tube to the tub. So that's it. This is our pre-shave. I put that on earlier. And that is the uh, shaving soap, shaving cream soap. And uh, you'll all be on the internet on the link down below. I'll put all this stuff on there. Aqua Velva. Not as strong as it used to be in my day. Everything's weaker. I don't know why. Wait, why weaker is better? I have no idea. Okay, now Mr. Nivea. Hello, Mr. Nivea. How are you? Not just fine, Alex. Okay, here we go. You can put this all over your face. It's very nice. Like keep saying, very comfortable, and it does treat your skin, makes it softer and smoother. Keeps you looking young. Look how young I look. <laughs> Maybe I should get my money back. Okay. <sighs> here's done. That's done. Everything's done. Now let's give a quick review here. Review. Very good. Excellent. Can't tell the difference too much from the tube to this. But it's very, very good. Did a great job. Went on beautifully. Slight aroma, not much. Pre-shave has more aroma, I think, than the shaving cream. So this is very good too. And this here is just like a, a, a lotion. Hardly any, any aroma on that, hardly. Just very light. And that's about it. A razor blade and razor. Wilkerson's razor. Uh, by Gillette 
excellent. If you can get some of those, get some. I'll put them in the uh, link down below. I'll put this uh, razor on. It's called the Rockwell 2C. It comes also in a 6C. All they do is give you more plates so you can change the aggressiveness. I don't need any changing because I don't get very aggressive. Okay. And that's it for that. Okay, we're done there. Now, I've got a couple more Mark Twain's for you guys, if you guys are interested. Hopefully you are, because I haven't got no comments from anyone. Anyway, here we go. This is another Mark Twain uh, quote. Never argue with a stupid, never argue with stupid people. They will drag you down to their level and then beat you with their experience. Because they're stupid. And they're very good at being stupid. That's why. That's very true. Never argue with stupid people. They will drag you down to their level and then beat you with their experience of stupidity. I put that last part in. My father always told me that when I was a kid, well, when I was more of a young man, he always told me, never argue with a stupid man, just walk away. But you're never going to make any sense of it. Walk away. And there is words from Mark Twain. Me and my father are Mark Twain. Okay, here we go. This is another one for you guys. This is kind of, yep, interesting and pretty damn true. If you don't read newspaper, you'll be misinformed. If you read the newspaper, oh, back that up, I messed it up. I read, I read something, what I wanted to put in there. <clears throat> back up, here we go. If you, if you don't read, hang on. You know what? This is why. This is why. Hang on. If you don't read the newspaper, you're uninformed. If you read the newspaper, you are disinformed. <laughs> okay, I got it right that time. Just need these. <laughs> if you don't read the newspaper, you're uninformed. If you read the newspaper, you are misinformed. That's the way it goes in today's world, I guess. A lot of these people don't even want to put anything in there. If they put in what they want, they don't want you to hear it. They're not going to put it in. But anyway, guys, that's our shave. Thank you guys very much for popping in and sharing my shave with you guys and sharing with me. Uh, please uh, subscribe, uh, ring a bell, leave a comment, do what you got to do. And I uh, want to wish you guys all the best. Thank you guys for subscribing. You guys are doing a great job there. Uh, and be safe, be good, treat somebody good, they'll treat you good. God bless you guys, and God bless America. Alex, I'm out.